Um, we are back. We are live, and we're talking about our reactions to both EA's and Ubisoft's press conference that just ended. Um, right now, joining me today uh, is Greg, who is gracious to make his presence here today. Yep. Uh, I have had uh, some internet trouble today. Oh, yeah. And uh, luckily, right now, it's working fine, so... Mm -hmm. Definitely. <sighs> Um, Robin is not with us at the moment, but he might be joining us later on. Um, yeah. We were unable to contact him. So if you're listening to this, Robin, uh, join us anytime. Anyway, so <laughs> let's go let's do this again. And it's uh, reverse order since it's still fresh in our mind. So Ubisoft. Ubisoft's okay. press conference uh, just ended. They showed up uh, a lot of games. Um some of which we already kind of anticipating, like Assassin's Creed, The Division, uh, Rainbow Six. Um, you and the burping. It's like a staple for this podcast. It is. It is my staple. <laughs> it is my It is my signature at this point. It would almost be better if you just burped normally, but the fact you almost sounds like you're gasping, it's like every time you do it, I'm like, what happened? Oh, he's just burping. <laughs> right, right. Um... <laughs> But yeah, like so, there was some stuff that showed up at Ubisoft. I think we should start from the start. Uh, hey, Stick of Truth uh, sequel. So that's happening, and it, this time they're going away from the fantasy, and then now they're going into the superhero thing. I could not be happier, considering a cosplay that I have. <laughs> um, I am stoked for this. So, did you play Stick of Truth? I did. I need to go back and finish it. I got stuck on the spaceship part, and I'm trying to figure out. Mm. Now I got stuck where I was trying to figure out where I was supposed to go. Yeah, that's a little. That's a little like. Uh, 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 um, <laughs> I just explored the crap, crap out of it until I found out where to go. But uh, that level, I think, is more also designed to level your characters up a bit. Right. Right. But I fucking loved Stick of Truth, man. It was funny from beginning to end. It was a South Park game that made fun of things that were culturally relevant at the time even though it was you know a game that was in the development for a long time it still made fun of a lot of like stupid video game tropes mm -hmm. and i loved it for that uh so i'm super excited for this new one i don't know if it'll play like a turn-based rpg like the other one that's true yeah. um uh it might and i'm cool with that you know, don't break, don't break what ain't fit. What don't fix what ain't broke. Don't, don't break what ain't fixed. Um, yeah. <laughs> but the fact that it's uh, their superhero alter egos is very exciting. Very exciting. Plus, the name is hilarious. Mm -hmm. the, yeah. The fractured butthole. Yes. <laughs> um, I like. It's kind of funny too because I was watching the giant bomb stream. And when they made that like, game spot reference, it's like, oh hey. <laughs> so there was yeah. a there was a cool reaction from the guys um, that were talking about the game. Um, but yeah, like it's cool. Um, I think they came out and the trailer was great. It was funny. The the guys who made the series came out and just like talked a little bit about the game, and like they were just like straight up honest. Like we didn't know what we were doing, but we we're making a second one. So <laughs> that was you know that was something that I really enjoyed about that I enjoy about like Matt and Trey and. There was another guy. It might have been during the EA one, oh. or during the Microsoft one. There was some guy that was just like, like super honest about everything. Wait, are you talking about the guy for um, that that kitty yarn game? No, I didn't get to see that. Remember? Oh, right. I watched the trailer, but I didn't get to see any of from the conference itself. Right, right. Gotcha. God, there was. It was. It was definitely during the Microsoft one because I didn't get to watch most of the EA one, but uh, yeah, there was a guy that was talking about a game that's coming out mm. and he was super, super honest about it. Like he was just like, oh, fuck, I don't remember. I'll have to, I'm, I'm going to go back through some messages real quick and right, right. Definitely. Um, so yeah, like they showed up some cool stuff there. Um, the initial, and it, you know, this trailer just kind of start things off, which was great. Um, and then the second thing they showed off was, let's see, it was, uh, Stick of Truth, and then after which was, I want to say The Crew, maybe. I can't remember if it was The Crew. It might, it might have been The Crew. Yeah, it might have been The Crew, which was a game that 
to my knowledge, has that game ever, has been has that game been released or has it been? Because that game's been in development for a long time, to the point where like it's like ridiculously like wait, this game was supposed to be promised like what a, a year ago to be free, and it never has came out ever since. <laughs> so like it was kind of weird to see like oh hey they're adding monster trucks and other stuff to it, to a game that has been been yeah yeah. Also, I heard it was really bad too. So, kind of an odd thing to do. I'm, I'm so disinterested in car games that I just uh... <laughs> yeah. Um, the next game after that was a game I did not expect to see coming, and I am excited for. Uh, the game is called For Honor, and it's like for people who don't know, like if you guys played Chivalry, Chivalry is kind of the same concept where you are. Um, you're in this medieval time, and you can control, you know, whoever you're controlling, the swordsman, archer, whatever. Um, what they show for honor is that uh, I mean, apparently it looks like you, it spans throughout time, you know, because they were showing Vikings at one point, and they were showing like. Um... Uh, actually, actually, it's uh, it's it's Vikings, knights, and samurai all in the same thing. Oh, okay. It's all in yeah. the same universe. Oh, okay, cool. Um, so yeah, they showed it off, and it was like. It was like a uh, third-person uh, tactical. I'm not kind of sure to describe it. it. To me, it almost looks like a like almost like Smite in a way because you have you, you have your AI like uh, minions going into the battle, and then you have the uh, con- controller-based characters, you and uh, a few others, find it out. Um, but the thing is, though, is like the the sword combat is very tactical, so it's very interesting how that works and it's almost like a fighting game it's weird but it's really cool um and yeah like it's i enjoyed it uh they showed a demo of it on on uh, on stage um the guy who was talking about it was pretty badass <laughs> man that beard is just ridiculous for a moment i thought he was gonna pull out a sword out of his cane for a moment there he might have. It might have been a thing. Might have been. He also kind of looks like a mix between um, Alan Moore and Rasputin. Yeah, <laughs> he does. Um, but yeah, like they showed up this really cool game, and it's um, coming out next year, I believe. What he said, March. Yeah, next year, Marchish. Marchish. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was really cool. I really enjoyed it. I'm probably gonna check it out more when it comes out. I uh, I don't know. It depends for me. Um. If it's exactly what it looked like, where it's just it's just combat, it's just like samurais, Vikings, and 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 knights, have fun. Like then that's rad. That's awesome. That's definitely what I want to play. But if it's not, if it's like we have this time travel story, blah blah blah, I'm gonna like, right, gotcha. So. Um, I mean, it looks like it, it's it's gameplay. It's four on four, so you know. Right, right, definitely, definitely. I'll check uh, it out for sure, but for sure. Um, the other game they didn't show it afterwards. Um, let's see, it was for honor. Uh, didn't even think it was um, uh, the unicorn cat thing. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's just that's just a, a DLC for Trials so, Fusion. Yes, yes. If there's one way to get somebody to pay, somebody's uh, full attention is you put a cat shooting off. With a, with a gun on top of a unicorn that breathes fire. <laughs> One of the jokes that the um, Funhouse guys made during that was, goes, uh, man, Ubisoft really knows what their customers like. Corporation created memes. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. I was, I was like, that's uh, yeah, it's a great joke because I mean that's exactly what they're trying to do. They're 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 making this off of the idea that the people who really enjoy crazy things will immediately go for it and that's not that's not the case right. like if the game if the game sucks the game sucks and there's nothing you can do about it but the consumer there's nothing the consumer can do about it but uh, um, but yeah I mean it's it's what I imagine it's going to be is basically it'll play like Trials Fusion, and the horse will play, will, will play like a bike. Will control like a bike. I'm dying. Sorry about that. Um, oh, yeah. who's dying? Wait. No, who's dying? <laughs> Sorry about that. I'll just check some on my phone. Um, 
<laughs> but yeah, like yeah, the game the game looks cool. It's gotten me interested for sure. Um, so I can't wait to see how it pans out and how exactly the uh, the the game fully unfolds. But uh, I want to see more of this for sure. Um, the game after the after uh, for Honor was um, I think Track Mania. I think it was, which yeah, which was which was a racing game that was already out. Uh, and it has been like there's been like a proper sequel to it, um. So it was kind of cool to see them go back and like uh up, upgrade the graphics and kind of give more tools for people who make that because that game is is very mod uh, heavily uh, supported, and you can create tracks already as it is. But this is kind of a a way like hey, we know you guys make tracks anyway through mods and whatnot. We're gonna give you the tools to do do that now to make it easier for you. So, which is cool. Also, if you're too lazy to do that yourself, you can also have uh, random ones generated. Yeah, definitely. Um, my brother is really into track mania at the time, and he doesn't know this information, at least not yet. But, well, uh, it's really cool. I think it's, it's, yeah. a, it's a cool idea. It's like... Looks like looks, fun. Yeah, definitely. It looks like... Uh, I mean, like it, it seems like the running theme so far this E3 is having the ability to create your own stuff in the game. Um but yeah, it looks good. I like the idea. I think it'd be, I think it'd be fun. I think it'd be a cool, like, kind of dick around game. Just kind of, you know, make whatever and see and get through it. Uh, but yeah, Trek Mania, it's pretty cool. Um, and then let's see what else, what's going on that, that, that happened at the Ubisoft press conference. Um, then there was the kind of awkward just dance uh, thing that they they do every year. But like it's like, hey, we're bringing out this uh, this rapper slash dancer, come on stage, and you know perform a little song, bag up dancers in the back, try to get Aisha Taylor on stage, but that didn't happen. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, it was just them promoting another Just Dance game. Um, yeah, don't I don't care about Just Dance. I never have so. Yeah, and it's a thing they do every year, so. I kind of expected to be there in some sort of form, so they were showing off the new game and you know just dance, yeah, more more songs. Um, that you can use your iPhone to some degree with it, so something along those lines. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, so it went from there to there, um, and then they showed off the division. Um, I, I'm ex- okay. I'm cautioning the optimism with this game. I'm, I'll be the firstest one, and I've been saying it like on this podcast. Is I am excited for the division, I really am. But I'm cautiously optimistic because like it's been kind of delayed. We've seen this like third third time at E3. We're almost getting to um, watching dogs territory. So like how many times a single game has been at E3? But um, the thing about it, it's interesting, is that you get to be in a team if you want to with other people, friends wise. You group up and you get to explore this world, this post apocalyptic world, and you at any given point can betray your friends and go rogue and like shoot them and steal their loot. Here's the problem with this they're assuming that the video game landscape is full of people who are nice. Yeah. Uh, this is going to be a problem. The fact that it's open world. And that you don't have to, like, you can just go wherever you want and team up with whoever you want. It's not going to work. It's not going to work like they want it to. Yeah. Um, Yeah. Like, that scene in it where they're like, shit, it's some other players. Do we shoot? Do we we take them out? All right, no, they're cool. They're shooting at the other guys. That's never going to happen. It's, I mean, I mean, maybe I shouldn't say never, but it's not going to happen often enough to where that the experience that you just saw is the experience you're going to get. You're going to walk into a room. There's going to be four other players in there. You're going to have your gun out, and they're going to shoot you. That's what it's going to happen. Yeah. I, it, it, it can go that way, but then I'll reference a game that is completely the way that Ubisoft wants it to be, um, or a mix of both, to be honest. Um, and that game is Rust, which... Is like in that game, like people do, like you know, team up together and like you know, form these small communities to protect one another. But then there are people who just go out there and be rogues and just like kill each other 
the yeah, name of it. Rust, Rust is also a uh, uh, Rust and Daisy are definitely games where it's got that similar type of feel, but uh, fuck those games. Um, and I say that only in the pretense that, or only in the tense that I don't know why pretense. Um, I say that only in the idea that there are too many assholes in those games. Now, I, I, I really hope that the division doesn't have permadeath. Because if it has yeah. per, if it has permadeath like Rust and Daisy, then then fuck it, I'm out, mm-hmm. no interest. But if it's if it's just you know like you die and then respawn at a place with whatever you've had, and you keep whatever experience you got in doing whatever you did, then cool. Right. But even in that case, like, will you get put back in the same server? Like, there's just too many variables for it to be a, a good game. Um, and I was assuming that it was a co-op campaign game where you have a series of missions you have to do in this open world apocalyptic city, but that's clearly not what it is. Right. So I'm, I'm more disappointed in division than I was before that. Right. I, I could see your point there. I could see that, you know, it could become that type of game where people are just assholes and that's kind of just way the internet works. But... Um, it's interesting to see what happens, and I think that I think that the the the, the kind of examples would be Rust and Daisy, and and like there'll be some people who will work together, but then there'll be some people who you know who do other things. So you can't really tell exactly how exactly a game community is gonna react or how they're gonna be until the game is officially released. But um, it's interesting to see that there's an option for you to to betray anybody at any given time. Uh, and take the loot for yourself. So, I want to see more of this. I just want to... Actually, no. I want to play the game. That's what I want to do. Give me the game so I can find out what the hell this game is about. <laughs> and then we can go from there. <laughs> um, hmm. But yeah. I can, I, can see, I can see both sides of the coin, though. Um, but they show it's up... Just not, it's just not... Like, first off, I don't, I don't enjoy open world games that much. Um... And that's my own personal thing. That's not against any open world type of game in the first place. But when, like, it's cool that you can go around with your friends, I guess. Uh, But at the end of the day, like, having to deal with other players is going to be a fucking nightmare. Like, even even playing a a multiplayer two-person or um, two-team type of game... If you can accidentally kill your own teammates, fuck that shit. Like, I, like playing um, um, uh, Halo. Sorry, Halo Master Chief Collection Online. Mm-hmm. Uh, you can kill your own teammates in those games. It's quite difficult to do it in Halo 2 and 3 multiplayers. Right. But in Halo 1, it's super fucking easy. And it happens every fucking two seconds. Mm-hmm. Halo 1 in the Master Chief Collection is the absolute worst to play online. Right. And that's just a, a simple multiplayer game. Multiplayer map. That's all it is. Mm-hmm. Put them in a giant sandbox. Put people in a giant sandbox and it's goddamn Lord of the Flies in there. Yeah, that, that is true. <laughs> it's <is> very true. <laughs> um, but yeah, Division, gotta wait until... Uh, did they say it's coming out? It's coming out next year, actually. That's, next think- year, like March. Yeah, that was a big thing too, because like they've been delaying this for a while, for a while, and what I've heard is like there was some development hell going on with that game. So we finally get a release date, and next year it's going to be the year finally it comes out. Um, but yeah, that's the division. Um, the other game that was talked about, um, or that was shown during the press conference. Let's see. Uh, there was uh, that. I mean, like I, the last thing. Uh, oh, Rainbow Six Siege. Um. It was the same as last time they showed it off. It's uh, basically just more of the same, except now there's a story mode. There's a potentially in it. Like, I came off watching it from last year thinking it's just a, just a pure multiplayer shooter. But apparently there is some sort of storyline in there as well. Um, because when I first saw the trailer, and I, when I first saw, like, the story potential, I was like, is this... At first I thought it was like, I thought it was like Spinner Cell, but it wasn't. It was Rainbow Six. So, 
Uh, I guess that works. I'm, I'm it, kind of I'm I've, I've I've been kind of interested in the multiplayer for six or siege for a long time. Uh, the single player doesn't really excite me that much, but the, that the multiplayer is always like I've always kind of been like, ooh, this looks fun. Uh-huh. Uh, just because you can kind of tackle it any way that you want, uh-huh. but it's still a Rainbow Six game. And one of the things they kept sh- they kept saying during it, which was one shot, one kill. Yeah, I don't like playing shooters that do that. Right. I, it's not it's not my thing. I I really don't dig it. Um. So being like extra super tactical is not going to be as fun. But it's definitely something I'm going to rent. I'm. I'm so disinterested in, in Division that it's not even funny, but I'm still somewhat interested in, in, in Siege, so we'll see. Mm-hmm, definitely. Uh, Rainbow Six Siege, I think the gameplay itself is going to be solid. I think that anything attached to it, story-wise, probably is going to be a, a second thought. Or, or maybe it might be wrong. Maybe they actually expand that to something actually pretty uh, meaningful and actually something pretty interesting. But from my knowledge, from what I've seen, it's just, it's just like just more the same from last year's E3, and I'm fine with it. It's it's Rainbow, it's Rainbow Six, so and it's solid, so I'm not I'm not complaining as far as like how it looks or how it plays. So I just want to see like a demo or something to play to kind of get my first hands on it. But overall, I, I think it's fine, just the way it is. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's see. Then after that, I believe was the oh Assassin's Creed, yeah. So, Assassin's Creed Syndication, or not Syndication, um, Syndicate. Syndicate. <laughs> um, Close. Yeah. So uh, they they sh- they showed a little bit of gameplay from it. No, no, not the gameplay. I'm sorry, ideas of gameplay. Mm-hmm. Uh, things like the the thing about the Assassin's Creed games, and we talked about this when they first revealed it. Assassin's Creed is Assassin's Creed. Yeah. It never changes. It just either it either has really cool material in it or it gets really glitchy. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think not having a multiplayer is going to do it a lot of good. Uh, um, like Unity, I tell people this all the time, like the amount of glitches versus the amount of the amount of copies bought or yeah sold, I should say, the amount of copies sold versus how many people complained about having massive game breaking glitches uh, were small. Plus, a lot of the glitches were funny and they weren't game breaking. Right. It's kind of like uh, graphical glitches, but that was it. Like, like all of a sudden, all their skin is gone, so you just get teeth and eyes. <laughs> all right, right. Uh, so it wasn't anything like super, super bad. Um, Unity was a was a well made game. It was just kind of boring, uh, and I think that had a lot to do with the fact that it wasn't that that it had to do during the French Revolution. It was that Arno was a boring character. Mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Uh, so I really hope that the main character in this is, is entertaining. I mean, he looks a little, uh, Daniel day lewis from, uh, um, Gangs of New York. Yeah. Which I'm cool with. I, you know, that, that's, in, plus it's Industrial Revolution, so it's going to be fun. But, uh, the fact it has no multiplayer and it's just been concentrated on having, you know, being having a single player experience and it being in more of a, uh, technological age. Some high hopes for this one. Yeah. Some high hopes for this one. Uh, I personally am kind of tired of Assassin's Creed. I feel like we've been through this uh, over and over again. And uh, it's kind of the same like Call of Duty Activation. How there's always, it's always one or one or two every year. But um, what is keeping me interested is the setting of this game. It's mm. being held in England. It's being held during the Industrial Revolution. Um, I like the mechanic of being able to uh, take somebody else's, I guess, minions or uh, uh, gang members and put them into your gang, and then you're able to take over the city that way. Uh, I think that the what they showed up the character is pretty cool. I think he's a pretty snarky guy, um, and he's pretty badass. Uh, and I, yeah, the game looks good. I just, I'm. I'm like I'm kind of thinking about getting into it. I'm not sure, just because I've been tired on an Assassin's Creed game for for a while. On just some yeah, uh, well, I, I I definitely won't. I mean, I'll be honest with you, I won't be playing it, uh, just because I don't really play the other Assassin's Creed games. Yeah. Um, 
I've watched I watched the first one, the second one, Brotherhood and Revelations, and then I watched three. Uh, and I haven't watched any Black Flag. I haven't watched any. Um, uh, what was the one that came after Black Flag? It was. It wasn't Unity. It was something else. I know you're talking about too. It was like the conclusion of of uh, Ezio's storyline. Um, and he was older too. Like Assassin's Creed. I forgot. That was well. That was Revelations, but Revelations came before Black Flag. Oh right. Hang on, I'm looking it up right now. Oh no, you're right. I know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that was something else. I can't say I forgot. Oh, Rogue. That's what it was. Rogue. Oh, okay, gotcha. Because it came out the same time as Black Flag. Right, right. That's what I was trying to think of. Yeah, it. Uh, I haven't seen any of Rogue. So, and that was also a situation where like Rogue was only on the 360, and uh, which I said that it was going to come to the Xbox One, but that that's that hasn't happened. Uh, so that was a wrong thing that I said. Uh, but people really liked Rogue and uh, Black Flag. Mm-hmm. Well, yeah, um, compared to uh, Assassin's Creed Unity, yeah, those games were much better than uh, Unity. So, um, yeah, I mean, like, it's an Assassin's Creed game. Uh, and there's nothing, no, no surprising. It's just more or less it's the same as last time, except maybe that awkward moment between uh, Aisha and that cosplayer. <laughs> yeah, was... There was a lot of the awkward. thing about Aisha is that she's she it can be a really good comedian. Yeah, but when she's up on stage doing that stuff, it's really not funny. Yeah, I th- you know what I feel like I feel like they kind of give her a bad hand. I think like, she because she does it. She, she's been the host for this for the last couple of years, and I feel like she's doing a much better job than whatever Ubisoft had. And let's not remind everyone of. With Mr. Caffeine, of what happened that one year. Yeah, that's true. So I mean, it, 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 it's, it's, it's better than. It's just it's just one of those things where every single time she opens her mouth, she makes whatever's on screen look way like just try to sound way better than than what it is. Mm-hmm. And I get that that's her job, but it's it's almost as if like it just comes off as if she, she's like sucking Ubisoft's dick, and I hate to say it that way because that's. That sounds sexist. Trigger warning. Uh, but uh, it just sounds like she's she's a simple fangirl of just Ubisoft games. And I know that she's not. And she probably won't play half of those games. I've seen her play other games and she's not good. Right. I mean, I guess... Not, not that I'm good at games either, but that's, uh, that's besides the point. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, I think... I think it's fine. I think that it, she does have her moments where it's just like it's dumb and she just shouldn't do it. But I think it's a lot better than what they used to have. So I just think like that one year. Oh, sorry. Huh, that one year that they had Joel uh, Joel McHale mm-hmm. was a thousand times better. Mm. Yeah, could like he he brought the proper like melancholy. I don't really care, but. I do care kind of at the same time. Like, that's that's cool. I really like that. All right, moving on to the next thing. Where she's just like, this is the greatest thing you've ever seen, isn't it? It's amazing. Your life will be changed. You're, um, you'll be rich after playing this game. And then the next game comes up and she says the exact same thing. It's kind of like, tone it down. Tone it fuck the down. Tone, tone, it, the, tone it the fuck down. Yeah. I spoke like Yoda for like a second. <laughs> um... And I believe the last game they showed during the press conference, and I'm trying to remember everything, um, was... And the funny thing is, this is what... And I saw a tweet about this, too. This has been eight straight years of Ubisoft not saying anything about Beyond Good and Evil 2. So, you know, that's... That, that, that of course. But um, the game they showed uh, off that... Uh, oh. That was the last game. Nice, by the way. Um... Oh, it was Ghost Recon Wildfire, which, from the looks of it, it's open world Ghost Recon set in a desert, or kind of like a Just Cause type of like environment. Uh, I wouldn't say Just Cause. I mean, it, not it, not. I mean, like just just kind of like not how it plays, but just how the environment is. Yeah, it's very tropical esque. Yeah. Uh, you know, it looks like a lot of fun. Um, 
I don't know if I'll play it. Right. It's just. I, I mean, I don't know. It's uh, it's there's I I see nothing necessarily wrong with it. It's just. Uh, um. Yeah, it looks cool. I, I I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's it's Ghost Recon. Mm-hmm. It's gonna play like Ghost Recon. It's just in an open space, and they didn't really show too much about how like missions will start if it's a open world game, much like GTA or or what. So yeah, yeah, it definitely feels like it's another Ghost Recon game, but like at the same time, it's open world and it's kind of hitting that 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 you know cocaine theme going on um and uh some of that cocaine was ruined yeah man <laughs> um and it was funny cause like the first thing I thought of when I saw that was like the Dave Chappelle uh skit they did back in the day it's like cocaine's a hell of a drug <laughs> yeah. um but yeah like it's it's <sighs> a Ghost Recon open world set in a, in a kind of desert-esque tropical environment um, I mean, there's nothing much to say about it because like Ghost Recon's been the same for a long, long time. So, uh, yeah. yeah, it's interesting. It's cool, but am I gonna play it? I don't know. Maybe I'll watch. I'll watch people play it to see how it looks and how it feels. Um, but yeah, yeah. Uh, that's pretty much Ubisoft's press conference. I feel like the Ubisoft's press conference was good. It was, so- it was solid. It wasn't anything that really stood out to me, but it was. It was good. So, it was uh, it was definitely for me. It was boring. Uh, they didn't show anything that I hadn't seen before. Um, there was a couple like like you know the Ghost Recon, but it's it's it comes down to the point where it's like, do I want to? Why do I want to play three different Tom Clancy games? Also, he's dead. So why are we still naming them Tom Clancy's? Because. They have that name and that right, and well, even that, you, 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 I guess you, I guess if Madden dies, they're still gonna call it Madden yeah. NFL. But yeah, although you bring up a good point, like who who remembers Tom Clancy nowadays? Outside, yeah, he's, of, he's definitely more known for his uh, uh, for his games than it is for his books. Yeah. So, so yeah, like I I definitely get that. Um. I, de- I definitely get that. Uh, but yeah, it's Ubisoft, you know, it's fine. It was the same as last time, last year. It was lively, it was weird, and it was Frenchy. So, um, and then the press concert prior to that, actually, now that we're talking about, uh, now that we're talking about EA, we're going to bring in the, an assist right now. As soon as he, uh, Gets the me- the, uh. the message, but yeah, uh, joining us in a few minutes will be Ramen, who was with us earlier this morning talking about talking about Microsoft with us, and the realization that I should have plugged in my uh, cord into my computer instead of using Wi-Fi to stream. Yeah, yeah. so lesson <laughs> lesson learned, lesson learned for anybody else who wants to learn how to stream. Use don't stream off of Wi-Fi unless you got a really really good internet connection. Um, but yeah, while we wait for Ramen to get on, uh, so EA's press conference, man, that was crappy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, there were some, there were some games I really enjoyed that I was really excited for, but man, everything else I had no interest or just dragged on for too long. So uh, what was the first game they showed off? It was, um, I want, no, it wasn't God of Warfare. Wasn't that? Um, no, the first game they showed off was, um, and I only know this because my internet shut down when they went to show this off. But it was Unravel. Was that was that the first game that it showed off? Yeah, yeah, they showed. Well, not okay. No, no, no. The first game was Mass Effect Ascension. Oh right! Oh or, right! Yeah, was yeah. It no, no, it was a. Uh, Ma- it, it was the new Mass Effect for sure, but yeah. it, I don't remember if it was Ascension or Ascension or not. It was an essential Andromeda. That's what it was called. Yeah, Andromeda. That's right. Yeah, because yeah. yeah. they go into a different galaxy now. Yeah. Ram- uh, ramen. Hey, hey, ramen. Hi. Hey, welcome, welcome to the stream, Ramen. Every- yeah. Everybody, welcome, Ramen, to the stream. So before we get too deep into the EA one, uh, Ramen, what are your thoughts on uh, 
on Ubisoft and make it quick. Uh, I saw the. Oh, I only saw like the beginning of it. So I only saw Stick of Truth. Well, not Stick of Truth. Um, Fractured Butthole. I love. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love that fucking name. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> that was so awesome. Uh, that looked really cool. Uh, multiplayer for the division actually looked kind of cool. Uh, that was it. That's like all I saw. I didn't get to see anything else. I uh, I disagree about the, the the division, by the way. So we'll just, that's a thing. Yeah. Well, I don't um, like. So that's fine. Yeah. <laughs> um. Uh, no, I was just I was just saying I don't uh, want to repeat the whole thing because. We already discussed it, but I was saying that the fact that it's open world and you have to rely on people's like actual um, good nature. Greg, Greg, to hold do on. Things. Hold on, Greg. Okay. All right. For honor was fucking tight. Oh yes. 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 I'm all about that shit. And I was like, yeah. Yeah. For honor was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, everything I like, I, I actually have the press conference queued up like right now, so I'm gonna try to catch up mm-hmm. as we talk about you about uh ea okay um so yeah we just talk, started talking about ea's uh press conference and the uh first thing we talked about was um well initially i said it's crap and i think it is i think that whole press conference was just like crap um but there were some games i was very interested in but not much of anything else um, Mass Effect uh, uh, Domino was the first game they showed off uh just trailer for it um whether this is going to be related to any somehow related to the Mass Effect universe or the storyline, I don't think it will be. But I'm not quite sure what time and place this will take place in. Maybe it's just like during the events of Mass Effect 1, 2, and 3. Or maybe just be like, 50 years in the future, this happened. Yeah. So, I mean, I don't know. I don't, I've never been a fan of the Mass Effect series. So I just I can't really... I don't really, you know, I was like, uh, whatever. <laughs> mm-hmm. Like, I'm pretty sure how people were hyped up. Well, I'm, I'm skimming through Ubisoft. It didn't look like I didn't miss too much after that. Rainbow Six Siege, uh, Assassin's Creed. Mm-hmm. Is that did I did I miss anything else? <laughs> like, <laughs> I mean, outside of outside of a few others, like maybe, uh, maybe Just Dance. I don't know. There's there, there, there yeah. really wasn't much that. There, there, there was like yeah, no surprises. Much. There was no surprises. I, think, at I, I don't know. I kind of felt like like they started off pretty strong. Ubisoft did because I was like, oh shit, like new South Park game. Oh shit, fucking For Honor. Like I was like, yeah. And then I was like, like the the, the one thing out of Ubisoft I actually was hoping would come out of it would be another Rayman game. I love Rayman, and I was hoping that something would have came out. Yeah, Rain- I thought they were gonna definitely do another Rayman, but yeah. 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 Alas, we were not given one. That that or Beyond Good and Evil too, but that's part of the course. Um, but yeah, there wasn't much really that was shown that was not surprising at Ubisoft. Everything was expected. So, um, but yeah, uh, getting back to EA. So they this should start with Mass Effect, the first game, and then the second game they showed off was Garden Warfare Two, I believe. Yeah. Which they had already shown. Right, they shown before, yeah. and it was kind of weird that like a guy dressed up as a zombie came out and was trying to hype the crowd, and he got no mm-hmm. response out of him. <laughs> are you talking about? Oh, are you talking about for Garden Warfare? Yeah, like the, yeah, I didn't get to see that. Yeah, so okay, like there was this guy dressed up as one of the zombies from the game, and he came out to kind of hype up the crowd, but he wasn't getting <laughs> any response. Um. So then, like the developer came out, just like told him to get back in the, in the back, and like you know, it's just like zombies. Yeah, that was <laughs> that 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 was kind of like like a funny little bit that they had going on there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Um, but they showed it off. Uh, I didn't notice, but apparently, I think story. I think it, I think story wise, or maybe something that they're going for. But like, you actually take the take the role of the zombies this time, than you are. Yeah, the yeah. They're 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 kind of like switching it up. Mm-hmm. I think that's that that's kind of cool, you know. Yeah, so, I mean, I just when when it comes to Plant vs Zombies, I like I like the original style, you know, the whole like tower defense type of thing. Those mm-hmm. are the kind of like that's what I really really want. Like I want like like another one that isn't like a mobile game. <laughs> right. Like, well, I, just... I honestly would like to have a proper sequel to Plant vs Zombies. Yeah. One, yeah. but uh, it looks like I'm not getting that for a while. So, yeah. which I'm sad about. 
Are you talking about the the strategy game? Yeah. Or the tower defense yeah, game? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The I don't really give a shit about the tower defense game anymore. I do like Garden Warfare, the first one, a lot. And so I'm looking forward to the sequel, but um, uh, it'll probably be the same for me. Like, I'll play it for a solid month and then put it away forever. So. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I hear you. Stop well, I mean, licking the, uh, me. Stop the, licking um... me. Why do you have to lick me? The uh, gameplay okay, no for it looks like a lot of fun. Like, I actually wouldn't mind trying to play that. Yeah. I, I like to see new... I, I like... Because they showed off the new uh, zombies, but they didn't show off the new plants. And I'd like to see some more of the plants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a few new plants. They had, like, the rose chick. And, uh... uh the, 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 the orange. Uh, yeah, the orange. The tanky orange. Yeah, and they had a couple of uh, other plants. I there saw. was another new plant, but I remember what it was. There was something. It had, like, a, like a fucking shield in front of it. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I thought that, that was the orange that oh. had the shield. Mm. They both had shields, though, actually, to be fair. Hold on. Hey, hey uh, boys, give me for a second. Um, So what did – hold on, hold on, uh, Anthony. Okay. So come here for a second. I don't know why you're sitting there. So what did you guys think of the Garden Warfare 2 stuff? Awesome. Amazing. Fantastic. You think Kids love it. There's a lot of the plants? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, these two are big fans of the first game, so that's why I'm asking them. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Gotcha. All right, guys. Thank you. Um. Okay. Cool. <laughs> um. Was gonna say though. Uh. Yeah. Like the game looks good. I mean, like I. I personally. I pers. I think it's fine. I think the game, the game is fun. But I. I just really want a, a proper sequel to the original one. But it looks like I'm not getting that. Nope, you're getting a pay-to-win one. That's what you're getting. Yeah. Uh, yep. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, so, they sort of that, and then the next game afterwards was... that. That's that's when the... Uh, well, no, no, there was something else that came out. Oh, the, the corn guy. The cor- there's, a, there's a thing, a corn. Oh, that's yeah, the, the corn. Is, yeah, yeah. Hey, that was cool, actually. I like, I like the corn guy. Mm-hmm. Um, the, uh, yes, yeah, so, oh, yeah, so the game afterwards, was it, was it the kitty yarn? game yeah yeah, yeah. Um, that's cool i like that yeah. that was really cool i, I really bad that was play surprising that. actually coming from ea i was like wow yeah. Was, yeah. yeah because like the ea punisher thing is i guess is still around like i feel like that's kind of been dead for for a bit but like mm-hmm. yeah they're they're still around and, and they found artist- this developer yeah, yeah it's really artistic, cool artist- artistic side-scrolling action game like sign me the fuck up yeah yeah mm-hmm. definitely so yeah, I'm definitely I'm definitely down in uh, it was, I think it was called the game was Unravel. I think it was called yeah mm-hmm. yeah. So Unravel. so for those who don't know, Unravel is a game where it's a side scroller and you control this kitty who's who's made out of yarn and the mechanic is like you are using your own yarn to get to, from one end Dude. to another end and as long, and uh, you know using it to also mm-hmm. go through obstacles and fighting against enemies mm-hmm. as well. Dude, one of one of the funniest things that I I had noticed about that bit right, one that guy was like. Was like you could see like in his eyes that he was legitimately so fucking excited to be there. Mm-hmm. But he was also super fucking nervous. Like, like when yeah. he was like he was he was like yeah and like this is the what, what was the uh, the main character's name? Uh, Yarny or something like that. Or? Yeah, something yeah, like Yarny. Yarny. Yeah, Yarny. yeah, 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 yeah. And he like pulled it out and he's like yeah this is Yarny and then you see you see his hands like uncontrollably fucking shaking yeah yeah <laughs> yeah i was like holy shit that dude yeah he's so fucking nervous mm-hmm. yeah I, I think after a certain age of my life I, i'll never get like that excited for a game ever mm-hmm. when i was young i hope he's really young because when i was th- if i was super young like 20 ish hey, what's that who who, who are you t- talking about me oh you okay if I was 20, <laughs> I might have gotten that excited about a game. But the fact that I'm, like, 32 now, I'm like, yeah, it's cool. I'll play it. It looks fun. I'm excited. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to go take a nap. Now, <laughs> I, I actually still get that excited about games. I still do. Well, yeah. there's a difference. Do you get excited almost... about the games or do you get excited? I get excited. Okay, that okay. is like that is like two levels above excited. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> that is like that is like when you get so excited you can't say the word. Right. But yeah, yeah. We will we will get there in in like a bit. But go ahead. Right. Um, I was gonna say um, <laughs> just real quickly in the chat. Uh, what was it? Li- li- was it? I can't pronounce her name. Uh, Lyrical Danny Chan is she in there? Yeah, she's in here. Oh. 
Yeah, she was like, real quickly, she says, I'm 42 and I'm hype about Fallout 4 and Dark Souls 3, lol. <laughs> um, yeah. I, was, I don't know if it's my Greg age or just that I'm jaded. Yeah, it could be both. Hey, look, look. <laughs> I'm not not excited about games. I'm just not. <laughs> about them. <laughs> yeah. But I think generally, I think the guy is really just like cool, or not cool, but just like generally, like he was nervous and excited, and it was like really cool to see that. Cause we, yeah. we don't see that often from a lot of game developers nowadays. Yeah, yeah, like like the guy was like legitimately passionate about what he was doing. You could just kind of tell it. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So it was, it was pretty cool to see that, and the game itself looked beautiful. It looked great. Oh yeah, that yeah. Thing was, it was so pretty. Yeah. So I'm really excited for for Unravel. I'm definitely cannot wait for that. Um, and I believe after that, that's kind of when things went south fast. Yeah, so so here so before we continue, I gotta kind of tell you my experience with, with watching the this this conference. So the internet in this house that I'm in right now is really bad. Like there's something wrong. They have Comcast. And instead of getting just the modem with Comcast and then getting their own router, they got the router that Comcast can supply you. That's both mm-hmm. a router and a modem in one, which is always a bad choice. Yeah. Um so uh it sometimes just crashes, just for no no good reason, just crashes. And uh, it was right before they showed Yarny. So I got to see the Mass Effect uh, Andromeda trailer, mm-hmm. and then it, and then it, the internet cut. So I went upstairs, I power cycled, I'm trying to, like, they're, I'm, I'm talking to Half Empties, like, the group, and I'm like, hey, keep me updated. And they're like, all right, it's this and this, oh, it's this cool-looking side-scrolling game, no one expected that. And I'm like, oh, that's awesome. And they're like, he's like, he's 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 really nervous. And I was like, okay. <laughs> and uh, and then I get it working. I come back down here and I, I get the stream up and running, right as they start talking about NHL. And I'm oh, like, God. I'm gonna go make a sandwich. So <laughs> I go make a sandwich. And then I come back and I eat the sandwich. And the entire time it took me to eat the sandwich, my chips, and drink my 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 root beer, Pele was fucking talking about soccer. Yeah. Res- mad respect for the guy, but why? What yeah. Was, what was the point of that? Right. So, like, what input is he gonna have about a soccer game? Like, really? The most, the most, the most interesting thing about Pele that I learned from that whole conversation was the fact that he was Brazilian. I, <laughs> I was like, well, I know, I've known that for years, though. So. I didn't know. I was like, thought he was like Guatemalan or something. But anyways. <laughs> uh, but yeah. So so right after he was done talking, and they're showing clips of the game and stuff. It was like, up next, Mirror's Edge Catalyst. 15 minutes after that, Battlefield, um, or Star Wars Battlefront. You're like, yes! And uh, and I was yeah. like, oh my god, this is so awesome. The fucking second they're about to show the Mass Effect, or the, the Mirror's Edge trailer, Twitch's servers crash. Yep. Yeah. Yep. I heard. So, yep. yeah, so I didn't Dude, get to see any of that. My, my and then... stream died, too. Like, I was streaming, and it died, too. Like, people couldn't, people couldn't go to my stream. Yeah, yeah. That's so how crazy it was. I didn't get to see any of the rest of E3's or EA's uh, conference. I did, however, go online and watch the trailers for those things, and I watched the five-minute gameplay of Battlefront. Uh, so we can talk about the trailers themselves, unless something happened on stage that was cool. You didn't miss much. So yeah, what I ended up ha- so what ended up happening is that like after Pele was done. Uh, he they decided to show more gameplay footage of was it the FIFA game they have? Mm-hmm. Uh, and then they were also showing some other sports game after. It was like oh, it was Madden. It was like it was like this. Yeah, no, it was like it was like I, FIFA, I heard it was. It was like FIFA, and then then Mirror's Edge. Everybody got fucking hyped, and it was like, hey, remember football? Oh yeah, that's, yeah. that's what I heard. It was. They yeah. talked for fifteen minutes about football, and everyone was like, "Fuck you, Battlefront." Yeah, yeah it was like it was like it was like. FIFA, 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 Mirror's Edge. Football, That's basically what I heard it was. Yeah, yeah. So, also the thing about it, too, is that um, while the Twitch was being laggy and people were uh, having issues on top of that Pele thing that they were doing that went on a little longer than they expected, um, EA started uploading their trailers on YouTube immediately because they yeah. were behind schedule. So, yeah. like, the Battlefront tr- uh, five minute uh, gameplay trailer was up. The uh, Mirror's Edge trailer was up on YouTube at that point. So yeah. they were already planning, like, okay, this is going a bit too long. I'm not sure we can fit this all in, so we'll just upload it now in the meantime. So that's kind of what's been ha- <laughs> happened. Um, 
I think I think the worst <laughs> part of it. Hold on, Anthony. Hold on. I'm, I need to send you a fucking a fucking screenshot right now. <laughs> right, I pause sure. the stream. Okay, go ahead. Continue. Oh, okay. Um, I'll stop in a second. Okay, for sure. Just just uh, put in the chat. Uh, put the, the the link in the chat. Um, not the Skype, uh, Twitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, I think what really kind of just made it worse for them was, like, after they showed Mirror's Edge, um, they, which was, I, which I, which I mean, first, go back, first, go back, Mirror's Edge. Mirror's Edge is fucking awesome. I love it. It looked amazing. Oh my god, I can't wait to fucking play that game. Yes. I cannot stress enough how, like, much respect and cool looking that game is. But I uh, can't play it. Yes. I um, can't play it. It makes me sick. <laughs> but, yes, Mirror's Edge 2 looks good. Uh, again, they're confirming that no guns that she's going to use is great. Um, they will get a, bit, we get a bit more of the story. I um, love that. Like, no guns. No guns. She's not going to shoot anybody. But kicking them out of a window to drop to their death, that's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Well, because like that was that was like the 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 big thing about Mirror Z was it wasn't about the combat. It was about you know the the it's the actual yeah, gameplay, no, like I, yeah. running around and the blah blah blah, 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 blah you know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, okay. I I completely understood that. I understood that before I played the first game, and uh, and going into it, the guns never felt right. <laughs> so it almost seemed like it almost was like. We got this really cool running mechanic, and it works great. But when you use a gun, it's really shitty. Well, how about we create a character that doesn't want to use guns? Yep. Okay. Yep. All right, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, like I, it looks really good. I like the direction you're going with the game. Um, I uh, the graphics are great. They look fantastic. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just kind of showing more of the story and and, and kind of where. It's, it's heading, and it is a prequel, I believe, to Mirror's Edge. Uh, I, apparently, it's a reboot. It's a reboot? What the apparently, fuck? Apparently, yeah. <clears throat> it, it's supposed to be like a, a retelling of of the story or like whatever. Really? Yeah. That doesn't make any sense. Then why would they call it? It's a Catalyst? yeah, I know. It's 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 a reboot of a game that only had one game, so it's kind of weird. That's all. I that's all. I don't know where you I don't know where you heard that, but I don't think that's, that's right. Yeah, no, no. Like, like, look it up. I am it, right it now. Is, it is, Do you think it I'm is not? not? It is not a prequel or a sequel. Um, that, you might on. have a point because it is called Mirror's Edge Catalyst, and it isn't called Mirror's Edge Two. Yeah. <laughs> I don't. Oh my god! I want this fucking. Oh, okay. I need to send. I need to send this to you on on Skype, Anthony. Okay. I. Okay. I just. Uh, uh, I'm I'm, okay. I'm looking up the the storyline of Mirrors of okay. Catalyst because that doesn't make any sense for me to me for it to be a reboot. Right. Right. It it it's weird. I that would. I mean, I can understand it, but at the same time, I think that. Um. I don't know <laughs> how uh, how correct you are or aren't, uh, Raman. So. I'm looking it up, but okay, uh, it up. my phone will fucking work. And with I need you to look at the photo that I posted in Skype because that is why I ended up like pausing on Anthony's face, and, <laughs> 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 and it's like, and it's like Anthony's O face. <laughs> <laughs> I see what you did there. I see what oh, you did there. Oh man, oh, it's so awesome. Ra- so ramen, I thought it was hilarious. Ramen ruining the streams. Um, not- <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was gonna say though, like, um, yeah. I, 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 regardless if it is a reboot or not, I am still down to play this game. Oh yeah, it freaking looked, a, yeah, it looked amazing, and it looked like it looked just like the original game, and like way, like the way she was moving around, except one. One one of the cool things I noticed that she has the she can like wall run and then do like an attack off the wall, and then she had a like it looked like a like handspring type of thing that that she she could do to like dodge attacks. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely. So it looks like more of what we love about the first game, except a lot more prettier and like more moves and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Um, plus, plus the CG is really, really freaking good. Oh, it looked so beautiful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Did they say a release date for it, or did they just say uh, just... February 
23rd. Okay, so next year. Gotcha. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm excited. I'm down for that. And then this when it went down again. It was like, let's let's, let's talk about mobile. I was like, oh, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> just oh god, just shoot me now. <laughs> everybody, on, I, I saw if, as soon as she came out and said that, everybody on Twitter was just like, flip table. I'm out. <laughs> fuck, <laughs> fuck this. <laughs> so, okay, so Games Radar six days ago said that Mirror's Edge Catalyst is officially a reboot and will be at E3. But there hasn't been anything else saying that it's a reboot. Hmm, interesting. Uh, six days ago, six days ago. Let me try to narrow this down, the search down. Uh... So it's a reboot, but it's not a reboot. <laughs> but you know well, what... I, I mean, that's what, the problem is, is that like things that happened... Like, I'm looking for articles that are not six days ago. Right. Yeah. If, if my guess is anything, we'll find out pretty soon, like, during the the next coming days, um, where they will be talking about the game at some point, either to be on IGN, on YouTube with Jeff Kelly or... Softpedia says it's not a reboot, nor a sequel. Then what is it? It's a video game. I don't know. <laughs> so let me... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Let me read this real quick. Dice confirms that this upcoming Marriage Us project isn't a reboot nor a sequel uh, to the original game released many years ago. As such, it is now a fresh name to a disti- uh, to distinguish it from the rest of the forum. Blah, 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 blah. Do, 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 do. So it's its own it's story not... then. It's... So it's like Yeah, a... I, I would have to guess. I would it's have to like... guess that it's essentially like... Um, it's essentially like... Uh, uh, Mad Max. How Mad Max is not a right. sequel yeah. or a reboot. Yeah. It's yeah. just a story that happens within that universe. So, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, okay, that's fine. I, I, that either way, I'm still playing the game. But you know, that's that's fine. Yeah. No, it's uh, just you know we yeah I just yeah 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 yeah. I completely agree. Yes. <laughs> um, but getting back to. The mobile, what they were showing off was um, they are having a mobile game uh, that is uh, focused on the minions from the um, Despicable Me movie. Oh yeah, so is this basically like a fucking movie cash and tie-in? Yep. For the most part, <laughs> I like the fact that a friend of mine was tweeting like, "Why, why, why are they doing this? Why is they do- doing this?" And the one, the one thing I told her is like three words. Oh well, maybe more than that. Money, 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 money. Yeah. Money. Yeah. Pretty much. Pretty much exactly. Yeah. Yeah. It's a cash in. It's no like, doubt. Because like there are making because there are a uh, minions movie coming out soon. Yeah. So. Yeah, I could care less about the minions. I really, I just, really could. Yeah. I tried watching. I would. I actually got excited when they showed the first trailers for uh, Despicable Me. And I was like, oh, this looks cool. It's got a cool cast to it. And then I watched it and I was like, it's not that great. I mean, it's not bad, but it's not that great. Yeah. And then the minions just blew the fuck up. And I'm like, the minions aren't even that funny. Like, yeah. the rabbits are way fucking funnier. Oh, yeah. And they're essentially the same thing. Exactly. And then Basically. and then I watched, or then I went and watched Despicable Me 2, and I was like, this one's not good. I don't like this one at all. Agreed. But the minions took a huge center stage. And then they were like, the minions movie. And I was like, I'm out. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, nah, fuck done. It. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and the thing about it too is that, um, I, 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 like they said that this is like one of like the most original games ideas that we plan to put on mobile, and, so, and it's like, well, yeah, guys, talk talk about things real quick. I gotta go preheat the oven for the lasagna I'm popping in there. So, I'll all right, for back. sure, for sure. Um, but yeah, like uh, it was just one of those things. Like, I, I it's like no, the, the Raven Rabbits was the thing that they. That was original first before the minions yeah. did. Well, so. I mean, like, like I mean, that's that's probably the reason why they're printed on mobile because they realize, oh yeah, like all these like little kids and casual ass people are gonna want the game, so they're gonna spend hell of money on it. But right. like, I, it's like, it's like, why announce that at E3? Like, E3 is like not the audience you're going for, like right there with that, you know? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So after they showed that off they finally came to the conclusion oh wait well there was one other thing I forgot to mention they did mm. talk about new content for the Star Wars MMO mm. um which I haven't played it <laughs> I played a little bit of it when it first came out mm-hmm. um 
it's interesting to see this them still supporting the game, and I guess there's still enough enough players playing that game for them to do DLC for. But um, they showed up new content. It looked like uh, the 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 seat trailer looks pretty cool, um, and it's more DLC for the game. So yeah, well, it's a it's a uh, a free DLC actually. If you're a subscriber, yes, right, correct, yeah, that's cool. Yeah. That part of it is cool. Yeah, so if you're a subscriber to the MMO, um, you get this new DLC for free. And if you're not, then you have to buy the game. And then I guess you get the free MMO, I guess, if you do it. Yeah, yeah. It's They weren't they weren't too, like, open about exactly what was, you know, what that deal I'm back. was about. Hey. Welcome back. Welcome back. I will say, though, like, I, I feel like they almost intended it to be confusing with a name because, like, it came very close to having it... Uh, labeled Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic when it was not, but it's close because <laughs> it's Star Wars <laughs> Old Republic, and then the DLC the Knights of the 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 Older Republic. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so what was, was it? It was like it was like Knights of the Past Republic or something. What the fuck it was, was it? Knights a know. Knights of the something. So like it came very yeah. close to like actually yeah. like you know confusing people. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, like it's you know DLCs whatever Star Wars. It's People are still playing it. I'm kind of surprised, but, you know, in a post-WoW age of MMOs, like, it's... You gotta do what you can, I guess. Um, but yeah, then we come down to the final game. The conclusion of what I believe 90% of people were there for initially yep. is Star Wars Battlefront 2. No, no, it was No, Star Wars Battlefront. It's just, it's, yeah, it's yeah, just it's, called it's Battlefront. It's gonna be called Battlefront, yeah. Yeah. So, they finally showed off well first let me rephrase this the the, the was it peter moore or something or somebody from from ea came out and talked about the game for like a few more minutes show some concept art and then they showed that five minute trailer of the gameplay footage and my yeah, god gameplay. oh my yes. god it's so cool yes so that got me cool. that that put me in a happy place when i watched that <laughs> the i was flipping out when he was driving the fucking ad at yeah, they were showing a lot of things <laughs> in that trailer. So there was that was died. So they showed a lot of things in that trailer. It was basically you can control multiple vehicles. You can do an add at, and you can pl- you can control an X wing. Um, you can control turret. A- virtually anything in that trailer was controllable to some degree. Um, and it was cool. And they like they you know you can go you know first person, third person, cockpit view. Um, and the cockpit view was really cool. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so... Uh, I'm... Yeah. It just makes me more excited for the game, and I cannot wait for it. Um, I think the review at the very end, uh, end where you get... Where Darth Vader comes out, and then Luke Skywalker comes out, and then just, like, starts, you know... That was super cool. It was. That was super cool. I kind of wish that they kept it just the soldiers and not the Jedi's. Just because, like, I felt the Jedi's were a bit overpowered. Well, in, um, in Battlefront games. Yeah, because I mean, the way the way it had worked was like, uh, once you once you get so far in in killing, like, so if you, if you get so many kills or whatever, that they they were like the the like actual characters were basically kill streaks. You okay there? Greg? Yeah, he's cracking up. <laughs> He's, so, he's, he's cracking. So I was oh, yeah. doing something with my nephews for like a second while you guys were talking about the Star Wars Battlefront video. And right in the middle of it, my nephew gets right into frame too much. And the camera was just like, I'm going to zoom in on him. <laughs> and then zoom back out. <laughs> <laughs> so it just made me laugh. Just hella stopped me in my tracks. <laughs> right. It was like it was like the moment I saw him and he was just like cracking up. Just right in front of him. Um... But yeah, what's that saying? Like, uh, or what were you saying? Actually, you were in the middle of something. Uh, I got completely thrown off. Oh, okay. Uh, you really no, no, enjoyed yeah, yeah, the, yeah. the controlling of vehicles. Well, is what well, well, no, well, basically, what it was was like um, playing as the actual characters from the movies were basically like 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 kill streaks. Mm-hmm. Is the way it was, and I'm pretty sure it's, it's going to work that way, just just exactly like it did before. Right. So, you know, you get so many kills, then, you know, you get to be Darth Vader and choke shit yeah. <laughs> with your mind, bullets, or whatever. Yeah. Um, 
I'm pretty excited for the different species you can be in the game. Like you saw that one part of the, of the trailer where uh, the guy has his uh, helmet off, um, and it's the green alien guy uh, in Star Wars. I can't remember. I don't know exactly. exactly uh, species. Yeah, I don't remember his race, but he's uh, Greedo would probably be the most famous one. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was cool. To, it was cool to see okay, that. Okay, Google. Greedo's race. Let's see. We're gonna test this. See how that works. It says Rita's, so that didn't work. Course, did <laughs> okay. Let's see Greedo's race. Technology at its finest. Um, I don't know. Stop! Stop listening. What? Huh? What's happening? <laughs> okay. Uh, I am super excited for this game. I am. If it plays even remotely like that, I'm. I'm so down. I don't mm-hmm. care if there are only four maps. If it's four maps like that, I'll play it forever. Yes. <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, it's awesome. So yeah, that shit looks so. It was just so open, and there was so much going on. Rodian is his name. Oh, it was just Rodian. like mm, okay. it was just like the movies. Like I was just like, oh my god. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it seemed it seemed like it's it's definitely like taking off of uh, Battlefield. Yes. In, yeah, but in that was it... that was the whole concept of the original Battlefront was it was Battlefield, Star Wars mod, and then they were like, hey. Let's make its own game. <laughs> Kinda, because the thing about Battlefield that I or Battle sorry Battlefront that I always enjoyed was that you can play it third person. I always loved the shit out of that, or first person if you felt uh, froggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, they totally showed that, which I was like, yes, that's there. Also, you don't aim down the sights ever. That's not a thing in the yeah. in, in Battlefront, and they showed that you don't aim down the sights mm-hmm. unless, of course, you're looking down a scope, which is completely different. Um. The fact that, uh, hold on, Nathan, that was just the oven preheating. Calm down. I'll go put the lasagna in a minute. Um, the fact that it was, uh, it seemed very similar, but mm-hmm. just bigger and better was awesome. Yeah. Uh, you were you were saying you didn't like the inclusion of hero characters, hero <laughs> and villain characters. Yeah, like I feel like they were a bit overpowered in the last in the last games that they were in. I would like to I would like to have it just focus on the soldiers themselves. Um, well, the, I, I, in the second one, I, I I liked how they came in because they were absolutely overpowered, but they were a kill. They were a reward. You didn't just get him randomly. Like you had to be playing well in order to get the hero, and then you got the hero for a short time. Yeah, yeah, that's that, that's that's kind of like I'm saying. It ended up like they, they were they were like kill streaks. It was a Reward for kicking ass. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, it was just like, I, I really want... <clears throat> I really, really want for the heroes to be in the game. But I definitely don't want it to be a situation where they're in there too long. Um, or... Like, they're too much. Because a killstreak reward in most games like that, or a reward in general allows you to do a cool thing for a short period of time. It yeah. needs to be properly balanced. Like, sure, it's a reward. Cool. One player gets it towards the end of the match. That's true. Yeah, that's very true. Um, But yeah, Star Wars looks really good. I'm excited. We're all excited. Yeah. <laughs> so Good shit. Yeah. <laughs> Overall, though, EA's press conference was outside of a few games... Unless you were really into sports, it was uh, the 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 conference to me just felt like a huge cock tease. It was just like, hey, I know you guys want to really see that Battlefront and really want to see that Mirror's Edge. Yeah, it absolutely was. Like, yeah. like we have to sit through all this sports bullshit first. But the biggest surprise from that whole thing, I think, was the uh, little un, un, un unraveled yes game. That, that was like the only thing I was yes. like, oh, this is new. This looks cool. Yes. And then it was like sports. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Um, overall, for me, I felt like this press conference has some gems in it, but overall, I felt like it it was it was not as interesting as the other two, in my opinion. And in, and you know, yeah. again, if you're into sports, you know, then you must love the hell out of this press conference. But for everybody else who are not into it, we, myself and others, were just bored. And the and the cock teasing at the very end from EA yeah, yeah, yeah. was not was not helping at all. I mean, it just it wasn't because, like, I'm pretty sure they knew exactly what the hell like like they were doing because, like, during while they were talking about all all the sports shit, it was like on the bottom of the screen was like, 
Mirror's Edge in 10 minutes. <laughs> yeah. You know, and it was like Battlefront in like 20 minutes and stuff like that. And it was just like, it was like, hey guys, don't leave. Listen yeah. to our sports shit first. Don't leave. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, Greg, your final thoughts on the EA press conference, or as much as you able to watch? <laughs> well, I did. I, like I said, I did get to watch the important stuff of the conference, and it was overall really lackluster. I think uh, you know, showing three games out of an hour and a half conference that I'm interested in, that most people weren't interested in, is just it's it's a bad conference. You know, you spend too way the fuck too much time on your sports titles, and that's not necessary because. Sure, Madden sells a lot, but the f- uh, fucking NHL and FIFA don't, don't, they don't, they just don't. Like, sure, at least FIFA not, at sells least... a lot overseas, but yeah, not, not enough not, in America. Yeah, like not here. Yeah, and I know, I know that this, this was broadcast all over the world and all that shit, but it still just didn't, it didn't make sense. It just wasn't enough. Like, I just, I it just, I, like, sure, they have to show it. I know that they have to show because it's EA's thing. Like, they, they have to. They're they're one of the premier companies that has to deal with sports, but yeah, I it's just too much time. Like they spent like forty five minutes total of the entire conference on games, yeah, or on sports games. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I yeah. I think that the Pele thing went on way too long than it should have. Um, it was kind of weird to just kind of have him sit down. See, and like just... like like literally, I was like, I didn't pay attention to anything he fucking said. I was just like, Mirror's Edge. <laughs> 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 Battlefront, please. Yeah, I was just like I was, I was like, you know what, Pele? That that that's awesome. Yeah, I appreciate you playing soccer for so long, but Jesus Christ, why why do I have to listen to you talk? Right, definitely. <laughs> so yeah, um, so yeah, then the that's kind of our thoughts on both press conferences. Um, the next one coming up uh, is the Sony press conference at the top of the hour. I believe at six or is that seven? Let me check real quick, just to be double check real quick on that. Uh, Sony press conference is at six. Okay, six o'clock. All right, so um, thank you guys for joining us on our Twitch channel. Sony. Okay. Yep. So um, we'll be we're gonna host a we're gonna host a Twitch stream, and we're going to um, uh, have everybody who's on this channel they can stay and you can you know watch it and, and still hang with us but after the twitch stream is over we're gonna come back we're talking about sony press conference um and our reactions to it so yeah this is the last one of the day and then tomorrow we have nintendo early in the morning and then at five o'clock tomorrow is the first ever no no five o'clock is the pc press conference and then the score enix one is give me a minute let me pop it back up actually square enix is like afternoon isn't it it's 10 a.m. So it goes Nintendo. So, uh, so Nintendo's live stream is at 9 a.m. Then Square Enix is 10 a.m. Right afterwards. Um, yeah. So we, we we'll be hitting both those up at the same like right after. Like, yeah. Another. So more than likely we will probably have something to talk about after Square Enix is over, and then we'll have um, time in between until the PC uh, the PC press conference. Anyways. Anyways. With that, uh, we're I'm gonna, I'm gonna get ready for this, and um, we will see you guys real soon.